welcome back to my weekly vlog. We are back with another vlog. It's gonna be my second one of all time. And you guys really enjoyed my last one. So I'm dumb excited for this one. I'm on the way, on the way. I'm on my way to my nail appointment. I'm on my way to my appointment. If you guys like these shades, they were $10. I got them at the mall. They were lit and I had to get them because they're giving me very Valentino vibes. Um, but they're not Valentino, they're cheap as fuck. <laughs> Listen, the tea about looking expensive and looking cute and put together, you don't always have to have designer everything. Like, you just don't. You can have the cheapest things ever and look expensive still because of how you rock it. And that's on period, sis. So I have my Carl Connie hat on. I'm going to be taking pictures today because I am ending out my um, my color theme. If you guys didn't even notice, I have a color theme on Instagram and my color theme goes with my hair. I'm not going to give y'all all the tea of how I'm doing my color theme because you kind of have to just look at it kind of just to figure it out. I'm not going to tell you because some people be watching my shit and they be trying to get ideas and I don't got time. So yeah, I am taking and ending off my Instagram pictures. My hair is not going to be in a ponytail. I just have it back right now because it's hot as hell. And by the time I'm taking pictures, it's not going to be as hot, thank God. Like, I'm trying to finish out, finish out this neon yellow theme so we can get to the next color. And when I get my nails done today, I'm going to be vlogging me get my nails done because you guys know I am faithful with my nail vlogs. You guys definitely love my nail vlogs. So most likely, I'm going to just start putting on my nail vlogs inside of my weekly vlogs because why not it's all a stay vlog. in the left three lanes excuse me ma'am why not it's all a vlog it makes sense anyway so boom i'm not gonna tell you guys what color i'm getting for my nails because i'm just gonna let y'all find out later on i'm not gonna give the tea i'm not gonna give the tea of what i'm getting with my nails the girl that I'm going to today, she's actually in Sayreville, New Jersey. The last girl I was going to was in Philadelphia. And the way I see it, if I could stay in New Jersey, that was like my ultimate goal. You guys know my last guy. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Don't really want to bring any, 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 you know, life to the situation with that. Um, he did really good work, but I just, I ain't going to him no more. <laughs> find someone to replace him find someone that pretty much does like kind of pretty much similar work to him but for a cheaper price and just with a better overall freaking attitude you feel me so this girl that i'm going to now her name is jen she's in sarahville i will leave down her instagram below this girl jen actually does carly bible's nails as well i don't know if y'all know or not but carly bible lives in new jersey as well she literally lives like right here where i'm driving i'm not going to disclose her information like that but um carly lives in jersey but yeah she does carly's um she does carly's nails as well so that was pretty exciting because i know that nails guy the guy that i was going to previously did carly's nails as well and she left there and now she goes to this girl so it was actually very funny that now we have the same nail tagging yet again but it's a small world man small world especially in jersey jersey everyone knows everyone in jersey like if you're like some sort of popping some sort of clout on your name everybody in jersey knows who you are like most likely most likely so i'm excited it's my first time going to her she from instagram from what instagram says this girl it's a truth okay so um from what i've seen as far as her booking i had to book her like a month and a half in advance because this girl be booked and busy like she be booked and busy so i had to schedule her like a month in advance i was talking to her via dm as well though she seems pretty nice i'm excited she is a salon owner and her salon from instagram looks so damn cute so i'm definitely going to be showing you guys the inside when i get there hopefully it's not like a lot of people inside because people be mad weird when you be like trying to record shit and they be in the way you're not really trying to put them on camera they just be in the way and then they be like oh don't put me on camera nobody trying to put you on camera sis thing
tapped in. Lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start, type of band's cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bender rolls for the kicks. They quit to give them two cents. Put my circle tight like we glued hands. Like I don't believe in new friends. Trail light, I know the ice then. I drop the song, get a few wins. I crave the comfort in my own skin. Really, I just wanna feel the world spin. Off a check, watch me double that. I get it lit, I watch it bubble up. Remember opening for shows, no a show, but I pull it my muscle duck. Now the label one, fuck with us. I spin the paper, let them know what's up. I figured I'd be really honest something, cause jealous niggas give a subtle love. Crazy, they hella shaky on that really, bro. That's fake, shit see through the shade. Shit, they so unstable, done waiting. I'ma wind and lust, I'm really going all the way to places. Never thought I'd take it all off the phrase, but I can't get no sleep. Landing in the weeks. Life is bittersweet, I can't really explain it, but it's everything I need. At least for now, I think that everything might be alright, okay, okay, yeah. I get replays, blue faces, how I decorated the loose page Remember how I used to serve the plate, clean the food tray Working 8 to 4 from Tuesday through the weekdays Hustle evenings at the stool off Highway 92 In Haywood, always running just a few late Talking a new game, back to the crib and I color in new ways Building a new blade, but the budget tied me down like shoe strings Connected the loose change, those were the days that made me She on my line like a beacon, she could've swore that I was cheating she, Be honest, I was barely breathing Chasing the life how I wanted it, knowing it too was all that I need Puzzled that all of the pieces that fit like a glove, you sit it right in front of me. How I don't see it. Hit up the pro to fit, like thought that's and I take it easy. Am I young or something? No, am I reaching to be validated instead? I get told from the parking space, why do it feel like I can have a vote for the ominous faces to all I won't save us? I thought the ground was for the breaking, look like it's all overrated. Yeah, like it's all overrated. Like it's all overrated to me. Like it's all overrated to me. I can't get no sleep, landing in the weeks. I can't really explain it, but it's everything I need At least for now I think that everything might be Alright, okay, okay, yeah, I can't get no sleep Blending in the mix Life is bittersweet, I can't really explain it, but it's everything I need At least for now I think that everything might be Alright, okay, okay, yeah liked my last uh, get ready with me and I said hair makeup outfit accessories and you guys seem to have loved that I put the accessories part so I'm actually going to be on my way to go to a few accessory places that I like to shop at um, just to get little knickknacks little trinkets little things like that I'm gonna go and get some more rings from my favorite place that I discovered in Quaker Bridge Mall the other place I like to go to, or it's gonna be my first time, but they have a lot of jewelry that I wanna get. 
um, from JP Harper NYC in Wachong, Wachong, New Jersey. So we're on our way to the JP right now. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys what the store looks like so you guys can get a visual and idea of where you will be going. And then I will show you guys what I get. So, shit. how much does that cost? Says a person that buys accessories now. Yes. What is this? I found this. What is this? Is now you wear it. It's an accessory. It's been behind the bar how many years? That's been by hell long. I was like, you know what? I need this. But now you wear it. It looks cute. It makes your whole look cute. You wear socks that you took from me. I didn't take from you. you now those. you're buying flip flops. I bought those. You're gathering your accessories and you look put together, even though you're not really put together. Like, you're not really dressed, but you look dressed. I wouldn't call it that. So you don't think accessories adds to your look? It's just my swag. I'm swagging. Yes, we're, made, we're, we're gonna match your shirts. He wants to be like me today. You're lying. Yes, I am lying. Did not want to do this. Yes, I am. <laughs> Definitely was gonna wear a white tee. You were. But you wanted to match me because you love me. Nisi, Nisi, you know that. Look my sister in the middle, she know that's not the, she know. Backyard vibes. Backyard vibes. You guys didn't meet Tia yet. It's David's older sister. Say hey. Come so on. What's sit, 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 sit. Last night I had a great time. Oh, look at his shirt, y'all. Let me give y'all. Come on. Time. Come on. Oh! I'm just trying to respect the woman worldwide. What are you giving? Get it to the boy. Come on, what are you giving? Hey. Hey. In different, different languages. You know, for the Chinese motherfuckers, for you, you know, all, all of y'all. So we sung the song in English and Spanish. You guys didn't meet David's mom yet? She like, what? Say, Uncle Dave, when you gonna learn Spanish? Oh, I should have yeah, my, my camera while I was doing huh? I know you ain't recording. No. Yes, she... Come on, honey. So oh, wait. Um, it's a lot. This is candy. Only fuckers do the pose if they pricey. Make a movie on it. <laughs> that was cute, right? When you say, when you say, when you say, you she got it. That's right. That's right. I got four grandsons. I love it. Just real good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. 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 Pops, look at that. Look say at hey. Hey, 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 what's up? What's up? Stay with that dad. Day? What's that, Daddy? Day, it's what? It's a video. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that I bought as far as accessories um, today. So I went to JP Harper NYC. I picked up a couple of bracelets from there. And then I also went to, I finally figured out what the store is called, Lovisa in Quaker Bridge Mall. And I picked up, I picked up a ton of jewelry from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I got. So I guess I'll start with my anthropology earrings first. So these are the little hoops that I got. I am an obsessed, like absolutely obsessed with the little mini hoop earrings. I think they are so cute. Like I love them so much. And the one thing about anthropology earrings is that I find them to be, these were $60, but if I'm not mistaken, the lady, when I asked her like what type of material they were made out of, because I was like, yo, these are pretty pricey. So what are they made out of? Are they made to be, better be made out of, I don't know, something because for them not to be like real gold, um, they were pretty freaking expensive. But she said that they were 24 karat on brass. So if I'm not mistaken, with jewelry like that, they, it lasts you a pretty long time. Um, the same thing with some of the jewelry from Lovisa from the mall. Um, and the same thing goes for JP Harper. So I showed you guys, I know when I showed you like this actual store, it was called Fat Ass Lashes, but they have Fat Ass Lashes within like the same store. So I don't know, I guess they decided to use the other name instead of what company this name is, but I don't know, that's neither here nor there. So she had um, two Cartier bracelets that I picked up. Clearly they aren't the real ones because the real Cartier Cartier bracelets are like $12,000 for the type of bracelet that this is. Um, this one was $60. She was selling this one for $60. So it looks like this. This is like the iconic Cartier um, bracelet. And then I also got this one. This one looks like this very good quality and both of the Cartier braces were $60 and then this one was $50 clearly again a lot of the jewelry that I'm showing you guys isn't like the real thing if it was it would be like $20,000 worth of jewelry but it's not so this is just a Cuban link um bracelet but in person honestly you guys this shit is shining okay but like i said this was fifty dollars and both of these were sixty dollars and the jp harper store slash fat ass lashes store is in wachong um new jersey you guys heard me talk about them in my last vlog and then i went back again to go and get some of their bracelets now moving on to the low visa store like i said i did get this in the quaker bridge mall i know i talked about their jewelry on my last get ready with me because i had a lot of their rings on so these are um 24 karat gold plated um over sterling silver so i got a ton of body jewelry i got some nose rings um nose hoop rings and then i also got these little mini hoops. I told you guys I'm obsessed with the mini hoops. So these are the 24 karat plated. These will last you a pretty long time if you take good care of them. And then I also got a nose stud in a 24 karat. And then I also got a hoop in the 24 karat. So these were a little bit pricey. Um, the earrings were 22. Um, the nose stud was 12 and the nose hoop was 13 and the rest of the stuff is like super cheap oh my god it's like dumb cheap so I got a chain set this was $12 and it looks like this it has like a regular necklace a cross and then some coin detailed necklaces um, this came in a set clearly then I also got some um, earring huggies. These are some earrings. 
they're super small hoops with crosses on it this was um, $17 and then like I said I got some nose jewelry as well and then I got some more earrings so these earrings were so cute I got um, two hoops these are like the biggest hoops that you guys will ever see me wear because I don't really like like super gigantic big hoops but these were so cute these were $12 these were $11 and like I said the quality of this you guys is so bomb like super good this is not no Claire's icing jewelry no shade but this is not Claire's quality this is definitely like more up there quality um and like I said I was so obsessed when I went the first time that I had to go back again and get some more stuff so I got a ton of rings like a ton of rings and all these rings came to about $12 each I got this little trio set this was $12 I also got this John this was $10 and because I got my nails done I feel like the whole entire ring set looks like it just looks too, too bomb I got this little safety pin um, spiral ring only because I got two pair of safety pin earrings I also got this ring I got this ring I got a ring to match the earrings that I had and then I also got a um, taken ring because you guys know your girl is taken I got smaller versions of um, these earrings so these look like this and these were $12 I got a few more rings um this is just like a rainbow ring this is like a blue ring because you guys um if you haven't caught a hint yet i am going more into like the blue hair color um clearly i got my nails blue this is a little love ring that i got and then like i said i got two pairs of the safety pin earrings i don't know why i'm just like super obsessed with safety pin earrings right now i think they are so cute and they look like this these were seven dollars and these were six dollars so yeah that was all of the accessories oh and then i got one second then i got this little lime green mini bag i did get this from alto aldo on sale for $31 period okay so then I also have some more expensive luxury um, handbags that I got I did go to the Louis Vuitton store um, and I did have one of my Dior bags come in shipment let me show you guys that so this is my super cute so this is my super 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 cute Dior bag that I just got in the mail about a week ago I am so excited because it's from their newer collection it's a pink metallic now both of the bags that I got this one and the Louis Vuitton bag was supposed to come um I was supposed to have worn it for my pink series that I had on my Instagram but I just never ended up posting about it or just talking about it but it's like a mini bag um this was a lot of freaking money so i would just link where i got this one down below because i'm not even gonna tell y'all i'm not even gonna tell y'all how much this damn bag costs but i bought this because um of my campaign i got my campaign paycheck back and this was like my gift to myself because i just wanted to celebrate all of my achievements that i've had over the past couple of months um to the louis vuitton store and i got a jewelry uh louis vuitton bag it looks like one of the like little jewelry boxes that is very popular right now like the see-through jewelry boxes but this one is just like a pink one and it looks like this it's like a little jewelry box and it opens here and it even has like a, um, a mirror inside and it's so freaking cute like I don't even know what the hell I would even wear this for but like I said I bought all this stuff to go with my pink series and I just never wore it I just never showed it I never talked about it nothing so I was like let me just show it in this little this little uh luxury slash accessory video because why not 
Oh, and then I did go to the store too um, and get some Alexander McQueen sneakers. And I also got some Flint Michigan Jordan. So let me show y'all those. So these are the Jordan sneakers that I just picked up to go with my new series on my Instagram. They are the Flint Jordans. And they look like this. My feet, my I wear like a seven kids, so ha, that's why they look so freaking small. And then I also got the Alexander McQueen sneakers. Obviously, all the brochures and bags and stuff that comes in the box. And those look like this. They just are like the white Alexander McQueens. Um, and then they have rainbow laces on them i think i'm gonna wear these tomorrow with one of my outfits i have a lime green shirt and some jeans i just got and i think i'm gonna wear it with that i'm not really sure but i don't know i'm thinking about it and why not i might as well just show you guys i did get some fashion nova flip-flops because i was in dire need of flip-flops these are new i think the ones i'm going to show you guys they are new to their website so you guys might be able to find your size i know it'd be so hard to find fashion over sizes sometimes because once you see a cute flip-flop that shit is gone within a day but i got these black and white um flip-flops from fashion nova i will link them down below and i also picked up these these are so me they are so cute and I think I'm going to wear these this weekend. And they are these spiked flip-flops. And they're like the jelly, jelly type of material. But like I said, my feet are pretty small. So that's why they look kind of small on camera. So yeah, that is literally pretty much everything that I bought. Oh, and then I got this bag. I picked up this bag um, as well when I was at the mall this is giving me very Louis Vuitton s type of vibes clearly it's like the same Louis Vuitton print but the brand is spray ground spray ground I said that's so country the brand is spray ground so I actually got the matching book bag to go with this let me grab it the book bag looks like this same print and everything um it's just giving me real louis vuitton clearly it's not louis vuitton, louis vuitton because the brand is spray ground but i think the bag is 90 dollars and the duffel bag was 120 so i'm not mistaken so it was like 210 for both of them i don't really know why i bought it i felt like it would be like super cute for when i go to the airport or if I'm going to like an overnight, a weekend trip or whatever. I felt like it was like pretty cute. So I just bought it. I don't really know why, but I just did. <laughs> so that concludes this entire weekly vlog. Um, don't get used to this hair color because it is changing. Um, I know it may look very cute on camera, but honestly, you guys, in person, it's just way out. It's just way too dark for me. I was trying to get something to match my nails. So clearly it does match directly with my nails but in person it's just not it's just not hitting and camera is picking up in camera it's fucking picking up the way that i want the color to look but in person it's way too dark it's too dark so that's actually going to be my video for friday just some tea i'm going to be lifting this color out bleaching it over um re dyeing it and then also doing a get ready with me so definitely stay tuned for that because i know i asked in my poll on youtube if you guys wanted to see me do a natural hair get ready with me and you guys said uh yeah so that's gonna be my video for friday so thank you guys so much for watching another weekly vlog from me i'm gonna start to get used to doing weekly vlogs right now it's like I'm kind of used to it, but not like kind of not because it's literally like I'm vlogging all the time trying to get footage and I'm not really used to that right now. So again, if you guys want to see more weekly vlogs from me, please thumbs up this video so that I know to continue to do them because I know you guys, you know, you liked my last one with my boyfriend. My boyfriend was in this one too, but it was more so kind of just me this time. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope to see you guys in my video for Friday. I know this week is kind of like crazy. 
I do apologize. I did get an infection in my navel for my incision for my surgery over the past couple of days. So I've been on antibiotics and they be making me like really drowsy. So all my uploading schedules was like kind of out of whack. So that's why I'm feeling better. I've been taking my medicine. I'm only on, I have two more days worth of medication to take and then we'll really be back on schedule Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, like I said. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And bye.